world filled with darkness. A world where no one can hear you. No one can see you. But one. TTVP. Where the dead speak. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so, to the new crew, we had a little bit of technical difficulty there for about 15 minutes, so hopefully we'll stay. Hi, Laura. There's Laura. <laughs> Let me get in frame. <laughs> so, give me just a minute. Um, got a few things to put up here. Um, maybe I get the right one. Oh, here, click it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, Frank from Three Souls. <laughs> All right. So, we first want to come in here. Chairman, I missed you, MCAT. So, the new ones to our group, y'all have seen Ava before. We are calling her Scratch now <laughs> because she can't get, play a game of pool where she. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, I love you too. <laughs> so we call her Scratch. Uh, we have Amanda here, uh, our comic relief. And you understand why we're going to call her comic relief. Because um, when we go out to these cemeteries and stuff, um, her better half here wants to call her Scooby-Doo. But we're just going to call her the comic relief. <laughs> because she's going to be like, oh, hell no. And she's going to leave us. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. <laughs> oh, oh, trust me. I'm going to... I'm, I'm uh, I'm going to stick something where we can keep track of her. Well, you'll need like a tether leash. Yeah. And, and, and. <laughs> the, 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 the tether leash, leash bracelets. And get back in. Paracord wrapped around there. <laughs> <laughs> like a small child. Paracord, it would work. Par paranormal paracord. <laughs> we have Alan over here, which is a carnival, dark carnival. If you go to um, the first part of our, our YouTube page, he don't have a lot of videos up there yet, but he will when we get started. Um, he, he's interested in, in the darker side of things, and we'll, we'll let him uh, tell you about that because Vale ain't, ain't doing that. It, it ain't happening. So, <laughs> yeah, he, he's the crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Y'all know me. Uh, the tech. Which is actually actually here and on, on camera. She ain't looking at you. She ain't going to. She like, uh, <laughs> um, that, that's Miss Becky. So there's Tim. <clears throat> How you doing? How you doing? So if y'all have any questions for us, we're just gonna sit here and ramble. Uh, we're gonna talk to y'all, see what y'all been doing. You ain't seen me for a minute. I actually got hair now. It's not a wig. I got hair. It ain't much, but I got hair. <laughs> I ain't got none. Oh. Well, we know you ain't got no hair because you decided not to have no hair. And I'm over here spilling everything. Uh, yeah. Lord. Anyway. What are we going to do with you? Yeah, smack those thumbs for us. Uh, smack the subscribe button. It don't cost nothing. That way it helps with the algorithm there. And we can actually get some stuff started here we're going to do a lot of cool different stuff this year like i said we got a full team um get into some different and weird things that we didn't do last year and another thing that i'm changing up this year and i hope y'all don't mind because everybody was calling me mother Teresa for the past uh, we rolled over four years four years now we've been doing this so yeah everybody's been calling me mother Teresa. So Mother Teresa is getting thrown out the window <clears throat> because, you know, usually I, I kept it at a business level and I'm still keeping it as a business level. But if I have to say something, I'm going to say something. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. If I'm out there and I say, oh, shit, <laughs> it ain't going to be, oh, well, crap. <laughs> it ain't happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> Darn it, toots. <laughs> so. How's everybody doing? Uh, so I guess one of our biggest things we're going to do this year is Dismal Swamp. Yeah. So if y'all ain't heard about the Dismal Swamp, um, I, I don't have my, my dual uh, thing going on over here. So I got the, the handy dandy thing over here to tell you about the Dismal Swamp. Um, I've been looking to do the Dismal Swamp for a while. So 
the dismal swamp which is up by Ooh. norfolk virginia which is only like uh it's about an hour no it's only, the, the part we drove through is about an hour from what we saw yeah but the dismal swamp is only like 20 minutes from here actually oh mm -hmm. nice yeah we could be at the campground <laughs> and then go up to the dismal swamp in like 20 minutes <laughs> so yeah the dismal swamp i mean they, they, it's i mean they have maroons out there and we talk about maroons uh we're talking about like escaped slaves and stuff would hide out there civil war soldiers would hide out there um there, there's bigfoot that's another thing we're gonna get into too here in just a little bit um i understand there's uh cryptid and paranormal out there um really looking forward to doing this real swamp they say it's bad enough that they have not turned it into a campground. You actually have to stay at a campground that's like mm, 10 miles from there. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. They won't it's you. weird. Yeah, it's weird. But yeah, they're, they're supposed to be floating lights and, I don't know, banshees and all kinds. I don't know what they got going on out there. but I am not touching another banshee. <laughs> oh, come on. You did last time. Okay, maybe. Yeah, you up there in your <laughs> pant legs, walking around in the tide <laughs> river, going here, small puppy, small puppy. <laughs> when you get one, your toes around, no. As I'm calling for this banshee. Yeah, right. I'll do it. I, I know you would, cause you're the crazy one. Right. <laughs> I'll scream back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Y'all gonna have a screaming match? Yep. Okay. <laughs> This I want to see. The games are supposed to be on, guys. I, I don't have anything to... Carol! There's Carol. How you doing? How you doing? Missed you guys. Um, well, you you got it. Once you see... Um, do the exclamation mark points and see if that thing is actually on. It should be on. MCAT got us with it. Thank you, MCAT. Thank you, MCAT. Yeah, they're on. Yeah, so y'all can play your games. We're still doing the, the giveaway t-shirts, uh, mugs, and sticker thing. Um, I didn't get to it last night after um, cards, but I, something I can do tomorrow. I, I, I don't do nothing on Sunday anyway. So, I don't know where I was at in thought a while ago. I was We're talking about Dismal Swamp. Yeah, Dismal Swamp. And uh, getting to the cryptids later. Yeah, uh, we, we can get into that. So, Normally, we do nothing but paranormal. Um, you know, ghosts, stuff like, you know, the paranormal that you think about, you know, haunted stuff. What we want to do this year is to wrap everything. So, if we're out at Brown Mountain and we're 20 miles back in the woods and, you know, Carnival over here, he, he's got one of these bags where you got your sippy drinks out of it. What do you call those? Camel bags? Camel <laughs> bags. So if we got camel bags and we're 20 miles up in the woods, we're actually going to just sit there and see if we can actually see some stuff. You know, um, we want to bring cryptids to this. You know, if we can get as far as anything toward Bigfoot or Dogman or Frogman or anything that's unusual and weird. Or those weird creatures that me and um, Carnival caught. Yeah, the last time we were in the woods, the, the monkey thing that yeah. yeah that was up in the tree that that was where it looked like the devil monkey. Yeah, we want to be able to catch everything. So, if cat's getting by, if you if you have a question for any of us, go ahead. We're I'm gonna let uh, Carnival take the floor for a minute. Um, Nick, that's what I got. That is like a survivor bag. Yeah, your survivor bag. <laughs> but. Uh, He's got a few things over here in, in his bag. And if you're ever on his channel or he's lurking with us and he brings out the rabbit, you, you want to introduce the rabbit to everybody? Show everybody what the rabbit is before we, we carry on because Gail don't like the rabbit. I don't like the rabbit. The rabbit gives me vibes that I, I cannot. Amanda don't like the rabbit. <laughs> Nobody likes the rabbit. You need me to hold something? I mean, okay, hold that right there. 
Yeah, we got a new SB11 this year, too. Uh, mine took legs and walked off, so Carlo got one. He, he, he's trying to pull out the rabbit over here. Uh, rabbit is not good. Rabbit is not wise. <laughs> and we'll show you why. <laughs> right? So this is why we call him the rabbit. So he, he's going to pull the rabbit out of here. He's going to... You see how far I'm going over here next to my pick? <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Is it Goshen? Is I'm am I saying that right? Paranormal Society. Hi, Mr. Mountain. Misty is here. So we are talking about the rabbit. He, he is unwrapping this thing like Swiss cheese. I'm telling you. It, it's like the fancy cheese you order online that comes to your house in like two months. All right. I, I don't do the rabbit. Hey Carl. So this is the rabbit. Um, the rabbit is a Ouija board, and he is going to be doing the Ouija board this year, um, probably for our eternity, because this is just him and his demonology thing. Um, he, he's interested in, I, I like to talk to the ghost. Y'all know that. This one, he, he wants to confront other things. And find out why. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm not all into it. You can keep the rabbit. And how many of those things do you have? Three. Three. There just went an orb right down through your lap. Thank you very much. There is no reason to have orbs where we are at in the studio. <laughs> None. <laughs> Hello, Misty. Um, we are just kind of introducing everybody to the crew, and we got a big crew this year. We, we have a lot of big things planned. Um, we're actually going to be getting some pretty cool uniforms. I don't even think they're called uniforms, really. More like jumpsuits. Yeah, we're going to look like the 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 black version of Ghostbusters. We're going to buy these jumpsuits, black jumpsuits with the, you know, our logos and stuff on them. Uh, we have the paired cryptid uh, society um, arm patches and our through the veil emblems on the back. Uh, so you'll know which one is which of us. <laughs> yeah, you, you can tie that thing up. Mm -hmm. I know y'all just seen that orbit went whoop, right down in his lap. <laughs> like I said, you know, you're generally not supposed to do a Ouija board by yourself, but when you're used to not being the only one, so who, who's gonna do the Ouija board with you? Whoever's <laughs> connected to me. You're gonna play alone. Well, if you got another spirit that follows you, that makes two. If you got three, then so on and so on. You and some other else connected to it. Not living. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, I don't Carol know. just asked if he made the Ouija board. This Ouija board was a, it wasn't made by me. There is a company in uh, England, I think. They're like a uh, energy drink. This was their Halloween special. And they made 300 of them. This is 17 out of 300. So, yeah, whenever you hear him talking about we're fixing to pull out the rabbit. Put that away. Now, you do have one that is made that you got from the Parrot Cryptid Museum, right? Yeah, that's in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> that one is handmade. Yeah. Somebody took a uh, tree, made a circular disc, and cut everything into it. Let me see. Get a spirit box last night, and they were asking. Oh, they were asking about MCAT. Misty's disappointed. She thought it was a real rabbit. 
<laughs> well, we're not going to use any live animals this year that I know of. <laughs> you are not sacrificing no live animal. No, I, I think you, you'll have a very, very, very strongly irritated team of all girls against you. Mm. Remember, you're the only male here, sir. I, have you ever seen that movie? Don't with cats <laughs> for the guy done with the cats with youtube that, that you're gonna have them people on you if you you doing animals on youtube i'm just saying i mean if you don't see it i'm pretty sure if we're in a secluded woods and you see me chasing thumper there's a reason <laughs> no no <laughs> I'm you don't leave there. thumper long you don't leave all his carls <laughs> said if there's an old berry for protection be fine with the spear board and mcat turn around and said watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat again <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to get you one of them top hats so you pull rabbits out <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm just saying i'm i'm staying away from g now nope mm -hmm. this one is there. kind of like the team dynamic we got going is that me and this one look after each other. Mm -hmm. um, he does his own thing. And then Vale and Becky are doing their thing. That's kind of team dynamic we got going on so far. Yeah, but we'll all be together now. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll all be together doing the thing. I'm just saying, you know, yeah. if they don't see, you know, him with you or us with you. Right. It's because we're, we're off getting more footage or something. Right. But you, you'll see the footage whenever, you know, I, I grab a hold of them and I put it all together. Then you'll see, like, their part, my part, or when we're all together and stuff like that. Uh, Misty said, Tommy says hi to the panel. So, hi, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> we're just sitting here chilling. Um, another thing I want to talk about, um, it, it's, it's at the executive board level. Um, uh, I wrote to uh, Hope Plantation. Um, so let me tell you about Hope Plantation really quickly. Hold that there, my tech person. Um, I hope this is going to go really well for us because we're actually going to be able to get into Hope Plantation. Um, it's located just outside of Windsor here. Um, do you remember about who, <laughs> who owned the plantation? I know it was built in 1803. I'm trying to see, see who actually. I don't remember his parents, but I believe his name was David uh, Stone. You, you're right, David Stone. Um, he was a Coastal Carolina uh, planter class. Uh, later was governor of North Carolina. So it's kind of like the governor's mansion. Um, I, I don't remember now how any how many enslaved persons they had on that property. Do you remember? I think I know he had two properties, which uh, I believe had a hundred and thirty-seven or more. Mm. <clears throat> he was highly rich in the area, right? Because of the two properties and all the slaves he owned. But yeah, we're going to go in there and, and what you're going to see out of that, because I, I want to do like a documentary. I've not really done one of those before. Yeah, we've went to, you know, like Moundsville and stuff like that, let you see what's going on. But we want to go during the day and we're going to walk through the house. Someone's going to, you know, give the presentation of the exact, you know, points in history and stuff like that. And you'll watch that. And then later that evening, uh, we're going to walk the property and actually do a paranormal investigation. Like I told them, we're going to see if we can reach beyond what we know as far as paper and see if we can get more answers. Um, we're going to try to, you know, put that into a full documentary. Nice little movie thing. Um, let me bring over here in my, my brand. It's going to come right over the top of us for a second. Because I would like to do it as a um, donation toward Hope Plantation. These places, they still have to pay property taxes. And I don't, let's see if I, I can actually show you my phone. I should have had this ready. 
of what Hope Plantation used to look like. I mean, it, it was a dismal mess. It, it, was, it was bad. Here we go. Give me a second. I'm, I'm poking buttons over here and nothing's happening. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see if I can, if you can actually see this. Probably not. Um, Hi, the flat, that flat fellow. You want me to move it up? See if they can see it? Yeah, see if you can see that in the camera. Um, it's just too far it's, it's really nice now. There you go. That's what Hope used to look like before she was painted. Um, Ava might be able to show you if I, if you scroll through the photos of what Hope looks like now. You're going to have to bring it down in that light just a little bit. Tilt your phone. Uh, you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. I anyway, tried. Anyway, yeah, you tried. <laughs> it, it's fine. But, yeah, she she's a really nice plantation now. But it, it takes money to keep these grounds, <laughs> keep the museum going. They, they do do their own thing. They have a Facebook. It's, um, it's called... Um, Hope something, a hope plantation. You look at it on Facebook, and they do have some community things that you can go and do to help with hope. Um, we would like to take it a little bit further, and we haven't quite got to what we want to you know, on the money wise. I think where I'm at with that, if you make a donation over $20, uh, we're going to try to give away these um, doo -doo -doo, right there. Um, the Save um, Hope 2024 t-shirts. So if you make over a $20 donation, you will get one of those. Um, <coughs> we have like colored cups and stuff like that. I, I still really haven't um, decided all what I want to do with that just yet. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, all proceeds would go to Hope Plantation, um, and I think that would be really awesome. And I, I would like to pick out at least, I said two, but probably one a year, especially the way the economy is going. If we can do one a year of saving some kind of historical project or getting one going, you know, if one is just starting up, you know, help them just a little bit uh, with anything. I'm trying to see what Carl said. Uh, that land has a plot of right site for hoodoo and chanting from much far back. It's crazy EMS and other stuff. Back of the house to the far left, a mound will be there, Bale. Oh, cool. See, I, I haven't been to Hope yet. <laughs> and so, yeah. Um, they're going to let us uh, in the plantation. Hopefully, of course, we have to pay for it, but we're nonprofit. <laughs> uh, we want to be able to bring you something. And plus, you know, that part on us helps them. It's kind of like our $150 donation or whatever to, to get in there and do this documentary. Hopefully, we can raise them a good amount of money. It, it will be really nice. Tell friends um, about it. Um, we are going to be going in there. June 14th. So we should have this documentary together no later than the first part of July. But, you know, we have the 4th of July coming. Um, Tech and Amanda has a birthday coming at the same time. So right there on that second week of July, I would like to have this out. So if everybody can be kind of prepared for that, if it goes <laughs> through the final executive stage, um, they seem really interested and what I was telling them and what I what I would like to do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to roll on with that, too. Anybody have any questions for anybody? That's what I've been showing and seeing, said Carl. Oh, cool. Because I know, uh, um, <clears throat> plus we go into uh, bigger and bigger locations to get more footage across actually have these yeah that they go out to 50 miles i think it was and like 25 floors up right so we have better communication between one of us yeah we, we have enough of those we can pass them around ryan yeah, I gotta, 
instead of six. So, like, if one of us is in trouble, we have a way. They especially have a panic button on the top. Well, Ron, if I meet you in person, <laughs> I will I will get you some red crayons. I've been stealing his red crayons. Is that the red ones I stole from you earlier? Oh, you stole my crayons? Yeah. Well, now Ava owes you some crayons, too. <laughs> <laughs> I needed something to color with. I couldn't find my coloring stuff, so I used the crayons. Well, I, I've been eating them because me, me and Ryan like red crayons. I told me I'd switch the red scented markers. Do you think I should hit that button? I don't know. You want to hit that button and scare everybody in you? <laughs> I don't know what it sounds like. Cause I'm saying if one of us is in trouble. He's got a panic button. <coughs> so if you hear this go off. <laughs> That, that's my, they got me, Margaret. <laughs> that, that, that's the, we need help ASAP. Somebody better come find us. Yeah, right. That's most likely going to be this one pressing it. All right, just don't do it like a <laughs> second star survival and fall off there and break your ankle. He, he actually showed that he had it on video. Oof. I, I know you didn't see it, but he was showing it one night and he's an urban explorer and he, he was up urban exploring. It was dark. I think it was dark. And you can actually hear him fall, and then you can hear the snap. It was like, ooh. So, <laughs> Carol just put in the chat, wonder if the spirit board can pick anyone at the mo. We ain't playing spirit boards in my house. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, I'm going to let him do that, Carl, when he's, he's out somewhere. We, we got enough issues in here. Y'all seen, there's a video out there, our first night in here, when we were newbies to this place. Since then, I, she, she's over here laughing. I, I am second guessing my reason of moving here. Because we have to turn the hot water heater off because it's bad and it almost exploded my kitchen one time. Or that might have been the spirits also. So knowing we have to have that hot water off or the hot water heater will explode, there's a spirit that goes in there and turns it on. Now that's a lot of force from a spirit to click a heavy breaker. It's two breakers. And you'll go in there and the whole fuse panel will be hot. I will flick it off. Okay. There's weird smells. Um, of course, I, I found out, you know, about Harold when I moved here, you know, Harold was the one that told us to get the hell out of his house. This is his house. He didn't want to buy here. Well, Carnival and Amanda moved in and they're now <laughs> in Harold's space. So Harold hangs out in my uh, master bathroom and the cats go in there and watch him and it's really weird because he hangs out in the places that he don't need to be hanging out. <laughs> um, you got followed as well as local spirits, right? Yeah. Um, we even got a yeah, new one of those. Got a new room pod. I mean, I still have mine, but that right. one's going to work a lot better. Yeah. And wait, we have. We have Ollie. I, I instantly turn because I'm like, okay, which one was it? Um, <laughs> you know, we have Ollie and William here. Big William comes and goes, and not so much mm -hmm. as you know he used to. Okay, dude. <laughs> they just started doing it by itself. You know, it's not doing it. Yeah, we'll give Harold half a chance. He'll be coming in here going, Harold, let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> um, she also recently found out there's a four-legged creature in her closet. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, we think it's a dog. I don't know. It, it it sounds like a dog's collar, but I've I've got two cats in here right now, and 
one just sits between my bed and the dresser and she'll hiss and one runs for cover. I did have a big old scratch across here uh, a couple weeks back where she ran across the bed and up in my face um, all over something being in here. There's just weird things that have been happening around here. Uh, we, we just recently found out we have Bigfoot in the yard. Who's the spirit that lives hiding stuff? That likes hiding the, stuff and spoons, etc. I don't know. There, there's some, there's, there's several spirits here that we've been missing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, yeah, he's saying spoons and stuff. How many spoons and silverwares are we down now? <laughs> I lost track. Because <laughs> we got like enough forks to go between us. There's only five of yeah. us. And I had a whole drawer of forks. Yeah, five forks. I think we got like three spoons. We might have to find that out, Carl. Mm. <laughs> Just about taking off of my silverware. <laughs> yeah, plus we got a new one of those since yours kind of crapped out. No, well, that's the grid line, isn't it? Mm. Uh, ours ain't crap out because yeah. ours you gotta hold the button. Yeah, ours you have to hold the button. Yeah, I, I would I would almost freak out if you move that around and Harold B standing back here because I don't see him. <laughs> that don't mean anything though. Right. Just because we, we, we know they like to hide on you and play a game of hide and seek. True. <laughs> Everything and all things do happen around here. <laughs> yeah, then you need new though uh new of those. Yeah, get more of those. Yeah, but we, we were talking about doing another big thing this year too. Of course, I can't tell you uh where it is. Um because I have yet to see it on YouTube, and I, I think Jason Halls is going with us. Um, I'll just put it that way. If Jason doesn't go with us, I know Three Souls. Uh, I ran it by Frank. If Frank is still in here, um, I offered Frank and Steve that opportunity to come with us since they're close. Um, what we'll, we'll kind of kind of divvy up on the place. Uh, I think it was like a thousand five hundred for uh ten and it's from six in the evening till six in the morning. Um it's a really <laughs> really long one. But um if we can get Jason there, um that that'd be great. Um if if Jason doesn't want to go, I I was gonna throw it out there to uh Rocky or Sean or somebody like that. That'd be pretty cool. The only reason I laughed at her about that is because they pop up in the weirdest of places when she does end up finding them, Carl. <laughs> oh. I know, uh, other than uh, Oak Plantation, I'm really hoping we can try Penhurst. Yeah, Penhurst would be cool. That would be a really good location. Yeah, but Old South is so far now. I mean, we're all the way out here on the East Coast. It would take us a good 17 hours just to get over there. Plus, yeah. you'd have to go. Because I want to go down there. You'd have to work it out with the other stuff going on in life. Mm -hmm. I know, weren't you also talking about um, the Land of Oz? Yeah, if they're even letting anybody in there anymore. They're still letting people in, but the Land of Oz is like a, a summer attraction type thing. Yeah. And it's like hit or miss on their dates. Yeah. I would just like filming me going down the Yellow Brick Road. There's an old Disney attraction that was never put out there that was supposed to be Mowgli's Big Adventure mm -hmm. out off the coast of here somewhere. I'd love to look it up again and let us discuss on whether or not we want to go see that. That'd be pretty cool. Because there's no um, private property, anything on there. And I've seen a lot of Urban X mm -hmm. going through there. Another thing I want to look at, too, uh, find out exactly where it is, is the cabin for um, Evil Dead. Remember, they done the filming mm -hmm. and they got that cabin. I wouldn't mind going out there. <clears throat> Let you have one of your board sessions in front of the Evil Dead cabin. 
He's like, I'll do it. Stay clear of Penhurst. Bad, bad energy causes a lot of issues. From Carl. Sounds like my mm. kind of place, Carl. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we know you deal with bad energy. I just want to... And I know it'll probably be hard for me because of the way I do see things and the way I feel things. I, I will probably be a bawling mess up in there, especially because I've seen the movie Suffer the Little Children. So I, I can imagine what it'd be like for me. No less, I mean, you as far as an empath and, you know, you as an empath, it, it's probably just emotionally going to overwhelm a lot of us. Um, Between being an empath and a battery for them. Right. I, I may just end up being like, I got to go sit out in the car for a second. And I'll be there when you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. Oh, I, I really couldn't figure out Amanda. And I, 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 I haven't got on it yet. Because you do see spirits. She does see spirits. But she doesn't talk to them or hear them. Right. So I could hear them occasionally. So you would be a medium because you could hear them. So I kind of put you in the clear sight, clear <laughs> knowing kind of thing. It's kind of like seeing things out of the corner of your eye or kind of knowing things. So I might change her up. Actually, there might be three mediums up in this hole. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just a little scared. Okay? Well, I, I've told you about my little stuff and we can get into mm -hmm. that somewhat. Because I can hear them too, but only if they want me to. I can't see them. Right. But if I get into a room with a lot of energy and I'm feeling a lot of energy, I can start hearing stuff. Right. And I'm like, what? Well, this is on your dresser. <laughs> well, let's get off there. <laughs> At my mom's There's house, a I'd hear baby crying. That was before I had my cousins. Oh, wow. uh, there was this young woman that I'd hear, and it's like she was trying to have a conversation. I'm like, I'm going back to Bay, and we're not doing this right now. Are you feeling like me and the Mexicans in the middle of the night? You feel them talk to you and have conversations? Because, I mean, <laughs> as far as around here, I can hear the boys playing. Right. Well, that's because they allow me to hear them playing. We had a cat. Yeah. So, yeah, if anybody has any questions, <clears throat> we're just going to sit here and talk about what we want to do. There's also a plane crash. Um, it's mm -hmm. a hiking trail. That's It's like seven hours from here in Appalachia mountains up there um, but that also would you know like come in with our camping stuff and mm -hmm. when we camping and looking for the sniffy sniffy um, <laughs> yeah because i know with me i've been trying to figure that out for years because i mean yeah clear going medium whatever one of the two it's known effect is i've seen somebody die Pretty much walked away from a severe car crash. I've had several things because, like, trailer was it 14? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Had that chaos demon. Mm -hmm. And then I've had multiple things. So I'm like, okay. So that's why I don't bother me. That's why I was thinking about going into the necromancy because I have a connection to the dead. Yeah, I do too, but I'm not trying to go in there and do necromancy. That's that's a whole new. That's a draven, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> I mean, let, like him, I, I've passed away, came back. I've been touched by something. We don't. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but uh, we've we've talked about it, and. Ever since then, whatever severe situation I get in that could be potentially life-threatening, I've been probably the luckiest person that came out of them. Right. Because who would you say that apparently I had a gin attached to me? Oh, my God. <laughs> that, that was clown paranormal. Um, I don't know. He, 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 huh? 
Uh, Carl just posted, uh, through the veil, you'd be a maggot stuck to you and your place would feed them. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but there it is one again. Poop. I don't know. Did you, do y'all see that? Yeah. So there's Orbeez flying around in here. Hey, Carl. I'm not Carl. Carl? Oh, my God. Harold. <laughs> Carl, you're in my brain. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, yeah. I mean, I, I've dealt with demons in my life, too. And this is why I steer clear of them. I'm not trying to go up and shake their hand and say, hey, you do. Okay. That's why we're leaving that thing. A personal level. They fuck with me, so I'm kind of messing with them back. <laughs> and yeah, but you know what they can do to you. That's mm-hmm. so you play the game uh, back. Carol wants to know where we are at. We, we are at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know they're liars, tricksters, they use all that kind of thing. Right, and they're going to trick you into possession. And then, I, I'm sorry, you start throwing pea soup, <laughs> I, I'm leaving you at the mental ward. Play the game back. For how long? Until they kill you? Hi, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. I'm going to need to make... <laughs> oh, my God. No. Hey, hey. He's just fix it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no. We're going to have a praise session over here. <laughs> Coming out of like Pinhurst or something like that, one eye bigger than the other, walking sideways, smoking. No. You're you going to come out there looking at me like I come out of balance for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to God, I'm out there walking in the woods and he's got the rabbit sitting next to him and he's just laying there going, I'll be like, Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> See ya. See, that's why I got the radio. That way I can warn you. You ain't going to be able to warn us because it's going to be inside you and it's going to keep you from going. Oh, all we're going to hear it. All we're going to hear is the panic button <laughs> over the radio for a little bit. Walk over and he's just convulsing and foaming at the mouth. I got ready for these. Did you, did you get bit by a wolf? Are you okay? <laughs> Do you need the medical attention? You're looking like the, uh, the people that are possessed by the movie of Legion. <clears throat> sitting there, their heads are just rapidly shaking. <laughs> no, you're going to look like that chick on the movie Evil Dead where she's looking out through the cellar hole and the little... <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you gonna be back there squatted behind a tree, acting all weird. I mean the new uh, <laughs> Blair Witch. <sighs> see what y'all are in for? Oh, no. This. No, 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 okay. No, no, no. I'm a and you're only gonna get it from him. I'm a complete circus. But what? <laughs> You're right. That's why we call you carnival. <laughs> but what you don't understand is whenever you're drawing this stuff out, is you've got a lot of impasse on this panel. Okay? And me, do you know how much harm you are throwing us into whenever you're throwing all this black stuff in the way? Well, you deal with it before you get near somebody for somebody gets hurt. Bad vibes, bad vibes. Okay, so I'm going to let you go in last. <laughs> I'm going to do my thing. <laughs> well, I can't get them riled up first. I mean, no. really get some evidence. No, oh. no, no, no. Mm, no. If you just hear me screaming uh, red, red wrong because he's over there being, being him. <laughs> red wrong. You, you, you know not to come over. You be hitting your panic button. Reader, reader. <laughs> get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Nine more, one. I'll be, I'll be in ghost. That's what we call my truck. I don't want to tell y'all. <laughs> don't leave me. That's how I. You, you'll probably be in ghost with me. Yeah, you ain't ready to go nowhere. Yeah. I'm just wondering how many times we're gonna have to explain to the person that owns the property why the windows broke because somebody can't find the exit. You'll make an exit. I, I ain't gonna break no windows. <laughs> Carl said, "Born dead and preem by two by two months and sixty six died at nineteen. Two times got very close to a bomb that stopped my heart. Sepsis, coma, pleuric lung, a stroke, heart damage, and kidney stage five still here." Good God, Carl! 
Right. I know you've been through some mm. wild stuff. Woo. Yeah. Th- this is this is probably why you say things too. Yeah. When I mean, you're on that brink of that moment. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's going to be interesting this year. I, I hope <laughs> y'all stay with us. Uh, uh, who are you staring at now? Oh, she just heard Harold in the bathroom. I can't turn the camera. Go in there and see what he's doing. The cat. So Harold, he hides in there. So the cat literally walks into the bathroom because he likes to sit on the commode and she just sits there and stares at him. I said, I don't know what's more awkward, having a ghost in my toilet or the cat just sitting there staring at the ghost on the toilet. <laughs> I'm like, really? But yeah, we're good. We're going to get into a lot of things this year and we're going to laugh. We're going to have a good time. Um, there's probably not too much I will be cutting out because, you know, I want you to see everything that we go through. You know, I want you to walk, you know, in those shoes with us. And it, I, I think we're going to have a fun time this year. Um, yeah, if, if it finally gets warm for us to do anything, that's where kind of where we're at right now. I done told you. Mother Nature seasoned us with the pollen, kind of cleaned us off to make sure, you know, we ain't too overseasoned, and then stuck us back in the fridge. Yeah, we're in the fridge today right now. We got frostbite <laughs> before not. It was 85 degrees, and we went to the beach here just two days ago. A few days ago. Uh, Monday. Monday, yeah. 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 This Monday, it's frosted back. And this one here had to sit close to the coast and had water, but then she had to <laughs> do it was twice. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> At Atlantic water is cold right now. You see me coming and close the shutters, close, gone on break. LOL. <laughs> oh, Carl's here. <laughs> Doodles. <laughs> uh, I think that's what this is wanting to do. I, I don't know. See, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know where his fascination is. And I told him, you know, I, I dealt with that demon whenever I was 14. I told you all about, you know, you look back somewhere on some live panel or somewhere i've mentioned this several times about getting tossed around like a rag doll um (laughs) this this whatever it is has had it out for me for quite a long while and i have ptsd from it um i'm 50 years old i still sleep with a nightlight i can't have you know doors open they scare me um that's why there for a while i had the yeah we won't talk about that but anyway, I don't see why this one wants to go there because I know what they can do. You know, he's, he's going to be sitting around with his white rabbit in his lap and all of a sudden he's going to be picked up and it ain't going to be no Bigfoot. <laughs> Eight three souls. Steve, what's up? <laughs> he said, yo. But yeah, it, it's going to be an interesting year. It is. And I hope Three Souls goes with this up there to uh, this uh, collaboration. It's going to be an interesting place because, like I said, I've not seen it on YouTube yet. Um, I don't know. It's because nobody knows that it's out there. And it's a place that they actually offer paranormal tours. (laughs) Because it's not what you think it is. I'm just going to put it that way. And I don't want to throw it out there because... I'm going to be that butthole. I'm a, I want to be the first one there. Right. Which we <laughs> weren't the first one there. I mean, Taps has been there. Mm-hmm. Jason's been there. I'm um, trying to get Jason to come back there. But, yeah. I just haven't seen it on YouTube. So, I know uh, one I'm really wanting to do is the uh, Crescent Sanatorium. Because mm-hmm. it was a uh, tuberculosis hospital for years. And I mean years. And then it shut down and then was turned into a prison. And I think 90s, late 2000s, they shut down. And then now they're fighting with courts over land issues. And so there's yeah. nobody going there right now. Where is that one at? It's... Who would have break while he's looking up the crescent? <laughs> Yeah, I've been wanting to do pen for years, but like like Carl said, 
it would probably be overwhelming for a few of us here on the panel. <laughs> but we are, guys. We are going to do this every Saturday night. Um, hopefully, when it really starts kicking in and we have, like, a video out there before we actually, you know, come on panel. <coughs> So on that, the maps, it's called Crescent Sanatorium and Prison Historical Place. It's a 251 Correction Road in Crescent, Pennsylvania. Oh, so it's in PA. So yeah, three shows probably knows where that's at. Uh, Carl said, saw one floating above a guy on my coma ward when I was out my body. It saw me and stayed clear of me. I was pulsating multiple colored energy. Oh, wow. Where are you heading? Well, so yeah, that's that's out there. Yeah, it's a decent size. It's yeah, Stephen and should know where that's at because they're out there in PA. Huh, Crescent Sanatorium and Prison. That's a historic site. Huh, <coughs> that'd be cool. Permanently closed. I suck that they're permanently closed. I mean, I would like to go back to Moundsville. Um, mm -hmm. Personally, I, there's a lot of things I missed when I went down there last time. For your TV? We ain't gonna be on too much longer. Yeah, it's 9:51. But yeah, hopefully, you know, when we have these talks next time, we'll be talking about somewhere that we had just been, and you'll be getting like all of our little info. What yeah, we thought of the place and yeah the crescent says hello friends and family today we have a very frustrating update to share unfortunately due to the ongoing land dispute we have to hit pause on our events historic tours paranormal activities and hydroponic grow for the foreseeable future our case is in the hands of the superior courts but in the timeline ahead remains uncertain well, hopefully they get things straightened out. We just have to keep an eye on that one and keep it, you know. That's why I keep out. it open on Google, so I keep an eye on it. Right. Because I really want to go there. But, yeah, <coughs> uh, this is the team, guys. <laughs> um, I really don't have anything else. Um, I think I kind of went over it to everything. The Dismal Swamp, the Hope Plantation, um, fundraiser um I, i'll get on that know more about that um i don't, I don't think any y'all uh, watch the tarot card side of it but what was that um these things that carl said yeah she read the multicolor energy um there's a hospital on an island in new york uh rikers Near Rikers. Near Rikers. Uh, 1790s. Mm. Well, I would be interested if I didn't have to drive in New York traffic. <laughs> have you been to New York? Yes, I have been to New York. Mm -hmm. On a bus. Listen, I was not driving. The last time I went to New York and the fact you can't do right on right up there got me. Well, I came in on a bus. And we went out to Long Island. Um, my whole first experience with a subway. Yeah, let's not do that again. <laughs> um, that bad? It, it was that bad. I mean, it, it's it's like your own horror movie even thinking about getting on that thing. More or less, I mean, because we got in one of those open canopy ones that was out on the island, which isn't so bad. It's kind of like the, you know, the tram in St. Louis. It's just kind of open platform. But we actually went in. It's one that goes in over in Central Park. And you end up in one of those underground ones. Yeah, there's graffiti. There's trash. It stank. Oh, my God, it's bad. And you, you have people that sleep there. and I'm a little skittish of people I don't know to begin with, but when you've got 20 or 30 people and then multiply that by 70 or 80 people that other people don't see, I was overwhelmed with the whole situation. And I was like, no, 
not not doing New York again. <laughs> it's, it's not for me. Um, if someone else wants to drive and, and I don't have to drive, then that's okay. I, I would have to have. I don't think she would want to drive New York either. She hates driving to St. Louis. She didn't like driving through Nashville, nor less Knoxville. <laughs> so I will probably be your driver through New York. Because I've done it. Well, it's an eight bubbles. It ain't going to be in bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> if it's in bubbles, I can. I can with you guys all. And I'm not talking about bubbles because I love bubbles. But I call her the hoopty van because she got one held to a different door. She has no hubcaps. Um, She's she, just breaks kind of wonky. She looks like she belongs in the ghetto. Yeah, uh, all five of us rolling out in the hoopty vans in, in New York. <laughs> Come back and find everything up on cinder block. <laughs> what we what we need to do? We're getting the jumpsuits. We need to get an extra one. <laughs> yes. I mean, I can. Get, You'll be in New York, so we are. We are. I can get that. Sorry, it's on my Amazon cart. It's actually a um get the Ecto one siren. Stick like it a, on, like have a, it <laughs> have the big through the veil paranormal on the side. It's like an emergency. <laughs> yeah, it's like an emergency weather uh siren thing. But on there, I think it's channel two is actually the Ecto one siren. And all you have to do is just tap it in, wire it to a speaker, and just turn it on and it'll just play it. Yeah, okay. I could see us getting arrested in downtown New York. <laughs> if you see the headlines, <laughs> group of five paranormal investigators arrested arrested <laughs> for playing loud music in a hearse or an ambulance. It was an old ambulance, I think is what it was. Like a 19 It was an old ambulance. Carl said he went through New York in the nineteen eighties and it was like a war zone. It was especially in the eighties. Mm, yeah, people everywhere. It's that way now. And then you gotta have that permi pass, whatever it's called, to even get across anything. And if you ain't got one in that your window, easy pass. Yeah, whatever that is to get through the tolls. Will you imagine trying to drive through downtown Tokyo? No. <laughs> they don't drive. Most people don't drive through downtown Tokyo. They take bikes. Yeah, I, I would There's do too that. Too many people. I would I would have me one of those uh I can't drive a regular bike because I don't have equilibrium, but I can get me one of them beach bikes, a little three wheeler petter pusher. Ging, 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 ging. <laughs> Boy, a lot of people just walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could walk too. Keep knocking that over. But yeah. But I guess guys, uh we was gonna be on here by an hour. It's nine fifty eight. I'm glad y'all came in. Uh, hung out with us for a minute. You got to see the rabbit. Some of our, we're just going to be doing our normal equipment. But like I said, we're going to be expanding through the veil, not only with people. Um, and I, I don't want to do it to make the cryptid hunters mad or anything. Like that. No, 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 not, not going there because I know nothing about cryptids. I, I would hope the cryptid people would come in and be interested in anything that we caught and be like, hey, you know what that is? You know, that kind of thing. Help educate us. Right. <laughs> I want to. I want to catch it on film. As far as not knowing what it is, unless it's you know obviously you know it looks like a dog or you know it's it is Bigfoot. You know we're sitting around having marshmallows with the feller, but um, <laughs> beef jerky. <laughs> beef jerky. Yeah, some Jack Links. <laughs> I I will stay educated with my spirits, my ghost, and stuff like that, but. We, we do want to go out there and we want to experience everything. So that's kind of what you're going to be seeing different from us. Um, if we catch a spirit while we're doing it, you know, hey, it is what it is. It's just extra footage. But we're going to be out there looking for everything. And if we go camping, y'all are more than welcome to enjoy them campfire cinnamon rolls. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Val can do some cooking on some campfires. Mm -hmm. oh, eggs, bacon, waking up the coffee. <laughs> you got me 15 miles somewhere down the fucking river. Yeah, right. <laughs> Try to find the coast. I'm like, I can't get off this thing. I'm in the middle of these rapids. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> you better hit your wee woo siren. I ain't gonna be able to help you. 
<laughs> we'll call in the Coast Guard. Wee <laughs> <laughs> You're calling the Coast Guard. I'm not going to deal with it. So, you know, I have some Coast Guard training. You, you're you going to be like, a, <laughs> which one was that? That had the rock in it. Where he had the Coast Guard helicopter and the girl was on the side of the, the mountain. San Andreas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I can see you so stuck. You in, like, uh, tip the hat. Tip the hat. And yeah. I got it in the crew. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be them. And they're in a canyon trying to get Boa or uh, Carvel out. Uh, woo, woo, come get me. <laughs> We're gonna be at the campsite here in chopper noises. <laughs> what do you do now? <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm not gonna put a leash on you. <laughs> How many people are getting leashes? <laughs> She, she's getting one because I'm terrified we're going to be in like Penhurst or somewhere mm -hmm. and she's going to go squirrel. Yeah, she's going to run back out the ghost. That's what she's going to do. You do know whenever you get in these places, they, they lock you in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there ain't no going back. There ain't no going back. So you can sit in the light in the dark. <laughs> By yourself alone, <laughs> holding a flashlight like this, like it's some horror, spooky, you know, story. Watching the light flicker, don't please don't go out, please don't go out, please don't go out. <laughs> and then it goes Growing out. up in a ball crying, <laughs> but I do have to get to my other job, so I'll say goodbye to the panel. All you right, you have you drive safe and. And then the light goes out and you're screaming <laughs> down the hallway. I hear screaming at my going down. <laughs> Pressing the panic button every five seconds. You're right. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you are up for something because they ain't going to let you go outside. Now, you know, if he's going to Old South, there, there is only one door that you, well, they let you go out the front door. Mm hmm yeah to to smoke um there is one door in the back too but she says and she's thinking make sure you put the brick in front of it if not you're gonna get locked out and then you're locked into the courtyard of the old hospital so yeah the best bet for you is just like you know if you get scared <laughs> hang on to one of us not you you kill me you get killed. I'll be fine in the dark. I'm like, hey, no. there tunnels? Click, click, and there goes a flashlight, and I'm just start walking through there. No, no, no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> that's what I like to find is the tunnels because that's where they moved bodies from building to building. Yeah. So it's like a hot spot. That was like their last location before they got cremated. <laughs> or they just sit down there for a little while. It's like uh, the body tunnel at Waverly. It was either they were going towards uh, cremation or they were just piling on there. Because they had to do. That's well, like, a lot of places, did. There was a there's one that you missed up there in Alton. It was a, a TB hospital, and there was so many people that died from TB. You'll have to look it up. The Alton Sanatorium and TB Hospital that the bodies actually made an island. For it to sit on it expanded the island they buried so many people out there. Oh. it is creepy that's an alt no noise if anybody wants to look it up but i think we are gonna head out of here uh, we have one had to go in for work so yeah we do have some new stuff coming up uh dismal swamp hope plantation might be going out pretty much pretty sure we'll be going to brown mountain some camping so yeah Hope we stay get into tuned. some of these bigger places. Yeah, stay tuned with us. We're going to try to get a video out every week. I uh, might try to get two out. I really probably need to try to stay with it. And you'll see us here on Saturdays. And you'll see me on Fridays going in to see my hands. Because I'm still keeping up the tarot for everybody. Because everybody likes those. It is part of the paranormal. I do use my gifts for that. So we have those on Friday nights. If you're interested. Um, other than that, I mean, come and hang out with us on Saturdays, doing the same thing we're doing right now. I'm talking about paranormal and stuff like that. 
So I I guess we're pretty much done. Anything you want to wrap up and talk about? No, not really. No, really? You good? Mm-hmm. Other than don't play with Ouija boards <laughs> alone. <laughs> like me. Yeah. Don't be this guy. <laughs> yeah. Don't be him. Okay. <laughs> But I love you guys, and we are going to get ready to head out of here. Um, I've actually got a few things to do yet this evening, but glad y'all came by. I do love you, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Have a good night, Carl, uh, Three Souls, Carol. Um, who else was up in here? MCAT. Oh, if I missed you, Flatfella was in here a minute. Misty Mountain was here. Four. I don't know. It was like eight. Lauren. Went to five and then went to six. Yeah. Um, Goshen Paranormal. I probably said their name wrong and they got mad at me. But uh, I know it's it's it looks like Goshen. G O S H E N. Hmm. I do it that way. There we go. <laughs> Hope you're doing well too. Hope you stayed in here with us for a minute. Uh, if I missed anybody, uh, Frank was in here. Steve was in here. Chairman, that's that's who was in here, and Lauren. So I hope to see you guys back here on next Saturday. What up, Nico? What up, Steve? <laughs> we're getting ready to head out of here. That's what we're getting ready to do. Where you been? It, it's past your bedtime, by the way. And there just went. Um, we might even investigate this place. Um, <laughs> it, it is a great possibility that might be our thing next week to find out who's turning my hot water heat <laughs> on and off. <laughs> or uh, having that at like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, right. I don't know what that is. And a dog. That's some type yeah, of- it's not these girls. I mean, well. The only time I had it was whenever Jones was sitting between the two dressers looking at a closet and hissing and spitting at it. But Yeah, because I was sitting on the chair. And then I hear what sounded like two cats going in it. So I came in here, stood in here for a good two, three minutes. Lillian Jones was passed out. So I'm like, okay, it's not them. Why don't you those cats are And then I go back in there, <clears throat> continue my show, heard it again. I turn my chair. Ash and Jack are passed down. I'm like, what in the world? So I go back to my show. We hear it again. So I walk into the hallway, shine my flashlight, look around. Rose is passed out on the damn uh, sofa. So I'm like, where is this coming from? And eventually I just gave up. I didn't know where it was coming from. The only thing I could possibly think of was there was the cats out here were getting into it. Mm-hmm. If it ain't them, then there's something in here and it's growling. Well, there's three ghost cats floating around. So. It was loud enough to where well, I could hear it. <laughs> yeah, we, we we might do an investigation in here. Um, so I mean, I even sit see. at the foot of your bed with the SB11 and the REM pod, and the REM pod didn't go off. That could but be a Monday thing we can do. The SB11 kind of went off. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, we can do that. Monday. Mm-hmm. I think everybody's off. You're off. Monday? No. You're off Wednesday. Yeah. Sunday and Wednesday. Yeah. And Wednesday we get paid, so we have to do it Monday night. You don't gotta look at I'm sorry. <laughs> we, we can do it Monday evening, I guess. Yeah. We, we might even be able to go live with some of it Monday evening and um, do some R2 camera in here. Um, I'm not sure if you want to see Harold sitting on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we actually got Sunday the other night. R2 up too. Well, um, Sunday night. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what's going on. But yeah, Three Souls said they're going to Gettysburg April 19th um, to the 22nd and inv- investigate the Gill House uh, May 4th. I would like to get back to Gettysburg. Um, actually you know, do a longer visit and be able to get into some things like the Jenny Wade house and the the orphanage and, you know, see more than what I did. But that's another t- day, another time. I might, the closest thing for me to get, and 
if if I went there, then I would definitely go to Gettysburg. And I was thinking about Antietam, but I know that would be overwhelming for me. But if I'm going to Antietam, then I'm pretty sure I'm going to Gettysburg because they're so close together. Uh, I know uh, one thing with me. I know a lot of the uh, dark stuff by myself. Mm-hmm. Is that? Oh, yeah. Your rosary. And made out of paracord. So it doesn't break easy like regular string or twine or anything like that. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's some Constantine stuff right there. <laughs> paracord. Um, Steve is... I'm going to have to blow it up because I can't see. Much love to you too, Karen. We're getting ready to get out of here. Um, that was actually the reason why I ordered the one made out of paracord. And because if I'm holding this, you know, like that'd be awesome, Steve. You know, if you're holding it like this, and then some demon or whatever is pulling on it, mm -hmm. it's not gonna easily break. Right. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get it all one of those when you out there doing what you do with the rabbit. <laughs> uh, so this place has wanna... eighty buildings and a. Uh, thousand five hundred acres okay karen i'm glad you come by we're getting ready to get off here we're actually 11 minutes over now he was over there um me. <laughs> you wouldn't me oh wouldn't you okay <laughs> that that sounds like a big property um that undisclosed location that we were talking about with you and frank um and probably get Jason Halls to go back. That's actually, you know, pretty good, pl big place too. Um, which I will have to get with you on that um, and your schedule. See if we can squeeze it in there between me and getting a new septic system. I've got to draw straws. <laughs> so yeah, if it's going here or septic system, yeah. it's going to probably be a septic yeah. system. Yeah. Uh, yeah we'll see what's going on this year we do have some other places like i said i will keep you guys up to date on the hope plantation and see if it goes through with the executive board and if it does i'm going to sit down and like i said i'm gonna get the t-shirts made get them ordered um i'm pretty set between the 2025 if you make a donation of 2025 then you will get the free t-shirt um we have these color changing cups that have the Save Hope 2024. I don't have a picture of those, but they change colors with the fluid and drinking that you put in them. You know, Last round, cold to hot. Yeah, and it'll change colors. And I'm thinking if you make at least a minimum do donation of five dollars, then you'll get one of those. It's um, a 16 ounce five color changing uh, stadium cup. Yeah. There you go. Five five color changing 16 ounce cup. And then it, it has that same logo on it. Um, but yeah, we're going to get out of here, guys. I'm going to get ready to hit the button. Glad to see you. Uh, we will be talking to you more every Saturday right here, same place. Um, hopefully next time we're talking about a really neat location that we, we hopped into. But let me hit the button, guys, and I love you. Um, make sure I hit the right button. Okay. <laughs> so everybody interested in tarot, I will see you Friday. Otherwise, we will see you uh, Friday at 8 o'clock. And it was supposed to be here at 8 o'clock. I don't know why I put it at 9. But next Saturday, it will be at 8 o'clock. It's supposed to be 8 and 8. So I put it wrong, so we came in at the right time. I love you guys, and we will see you later. <laughs>